Yeah, and we're gonna we have some more people that we're waiting for. We'll be showing up, but um, I'm Sue Vanderborn. I want to thank you all for being here. Um, we're glad you're here for our workshop. Uh, just um, yeah, we're a small group. We're gonna focus on sharing ideas and experiential learning and making practice ready lawyers. Those are tagline. Um, <laughs> for some logistics. Um, all the events are going to be in this room. There will be um, lunch will be served out in the foyer. There's drinks out there all day. We'll have snacks later today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to talk to me, to Karen Sneddon, Wave Karen, <laughs> Terry Morphy Grub, Wave Terry, and Jan, who's out in the hallway. And I'm going to now turn things over to um, our dean, Daisy Floyd, who's going to do the more official welcome. Thank you. Well, yes, welcome everybody. Um, it's my great pleasure uh, to add my welcome to that of Sue's. We're delighted to host you um, today for this one-day workshop. We are also quite honored at Mercer Law School to be the host of the Legal Writing Institute. Um, I got my start in legal education, teaching legal writing, and have taught legal writing off and on in the 30 plus years since then, um, including um, most recently teaching in our uh, one of our advanced legal writing groups, which was great fun. So uh, I have a great um, respect for the work that you all do and know how hard it is. Um, and I'm also aware that when we talk about this topic of practice-ready lawyers, that this is a topic that those in the legal writing community have been thinking about for a long, long time, um, before that kind of became our current buzzword for legal education. Uh, I think today's program is wonderful in bringing together so many different perspectives, bringing legal educators, practitioners, um, members of the bench uh, to this idea of how we produce practice-ready lawyers because I'm convinced we're not going to get there without a partnership among all of those groups. Too long legal education has one kind of stay in its own little world and um, without really collaborating with the bench and bar uh, with everybody who has anything to do with the legal profession, I don't think we're going to make that goal of producing practice-ready lawyers. Uh, I know that many of you today are going to be talking about what goes into being practice-ready lawyers. Uh, I think sometimes when we hear that word, people tend to focus just on the skills, that is, that aspect of what lawyers need to know how to do, the more practical kinds of aspects. But I'm sure that you all um, would agree with me that really being practice-ready is about more than that, that it really does include those three aspects that have been highlighted in a number of ways, the Carnegie Report, others, when they talk about um, what it is that we need to know, what it is that we need to be able to do, and then who we are as lawyers and as individuals, or um, as some people put it, the head, the hands, and the heart, because all of those are aspects of being lawyers. And um, also, not just how we address all three of those areas in legal education, but also how we integrate those three aspects in legal education are really important. And so I think today is going to advance that discussion quite a bit, and I'm grateful to you all for being here. I'm going to get another chance to visit with you over lunch and look forward to that. Um, I had hoped to be able to stay this morning and hear from our speakers. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that, but I hope that I'll be popping in and out during the day. So again, I just want to welcome each of you, and I want to thank um, our faculty here who have been uh, working hard to put this program together, Terry McMurtry Chubb, Karen Stead, Jennifer Shepard, and Sue Painter Thorne. Um, thank you all uh, for doing this uh, and bringing this to Mercer. So without further ado, I'm going to let you all get started, and I'll see you again at lunch. Enjoy. Thank you.